He was happy, and he said so, and he hadn't said that for a long time. Matthew Perry's stepfather, Keith Morrison, is reflecting on the Friends star's tragic death. In a new interview with today's Hoda Kotb, the Dateline icon says Matthew was in good spirits before his passing and had even reformed a close bond with his mother, Keith's wife of 43 years, Suzanne Perry Morrison. Toward the end of his life, they were closer than I've seen them for decades and texting each other constantly. And so he was happy and he said so. And he hadn't said that for a long time. It's a source of comfort, but also, you know, he didn't get to have his third act, and um, that's it's not fair. Keith added that Matthew appeared to be in a positive chapter despite his longtime struggles with addiction, noting that both he and Matthew were aware that his recovery was an ongoing journey he would never fully complete. It is a disease, and it's a very, very difficult one to beat. He felt like he was beating it. But you never beat it, and he knew that too. As for his own grief, Keith said the process has been understandably tough, especially for Suzanne, whom he married when Matthew was just 10, and that the pain is something they'll always carry. It doesn't go away. It's with you every day. It's with you all the time. And um, there's some new aspect of it that assaults your, your brain, and you know, it's not easy, it's especially for his mom. Matthew died on October 28th at just 54 years old. He was found unresponsive in his hot tub and a coroner's report later cited the quote, acute effects of ketamine as the cause with contributing factors, including drowning and coronary artery disease. It was believed Matthew was sober for 19 months before his death and he'd received his last ketamine treatment a week and a half earlier. When asked if Matthew's loss came as a surprise, Keith recalled how the actor himself had expected people to react. As he said himself, if, if I suddenly died, people would be shocked, but not too many people would be surprised. Uh, and he was right, I think. Did it surprise you? It was the news you never want to get, but you think someday you might. So. Yes and no, I guess, is the answer to that.